Capricorn, we done moved from the general weekly to now we're moving on to the monthly love. We want to look, look at some energies for you related to love and romance, relationships this month of November 2022. And, um, you know, it's for Capricorn suns, moons, rising, singles, Venuses, uh, same-sex love and energies. All right, so let's just hope this energy was just as good as your weekly that I just did for you. Um, and this is what I was... Wanting to do anyway, do the weeklies, do a romance because uh, we're coming close to it. Um, so it's working out pretty well for me. That way I can stay, you know, track of what I'm doing here because sometimes I'll get uh, confused. <clears throat> but anyway, so let's um, get into these energies here. I'm using the Victorian Romantic Tarot deck. Uh, remember, this is two lovers, two emperors, two devils, your own energy here representing. Then I'm going to use the, uh, which I'm falling in love with already. You know, I love when I get these new decks and they just sort of like uh, resonate with me. This is Lips Don't Lie Oracle from King Aloha. Uh, Aloha, I think. Yeah, King of Aloha. So um, I got this. Came in. I want to use this. And uh, the information here related to the Lips Don't Lie basically is your person. Okay, whatever person that you may be involved with you know, connected to at the moment, or have an interest in, could be a crush. Now, yesterday, I, you know, said, and using the cards for either Sagittarius or Scorpio, I said, you can use the energies fluidly if you want to. It could be your messages for your person. But I feel that I just want to stick to using these uh, cards here for your person. Okay, how about that? And then I'm going to be adding my own uh, Souls Love Oracle card messages for you just to compliment and to finish your reading. All right, so let's get into the energy here. Capricorn, without further ado, messages staying, you know, strictly focused on love and relationship for you guys. Uh, there are no reversals here. Uh, I choose not to re uh, read reversals for uh, love readings. But if any card shows up in the reverse, you know, I'm just going to read it in upright. All right, so messages for Capricorn when it comes to love and relationships in the month of November. And then happy Thanksgiving, I forgot to mention. So, yeah, happy Thanksgiving for those who celebrate uh, Thanksgiving. All right, three good cuts, and we're going to start the story and the messages for you, Capricorn. What's going on for Capricorn? And I tell you guys, take these messages with a grain of salt. You know, you can't take them personally. If they work for you, so be it. If they don't. Just walk away from it, all right? <laughs> it's not that serious. Anyway, um, but I do find, you know, I do appreciate that some of you guys find the readings to be very helpful for, uh, to you. And it's not just you, Capricorn. It's all the zodiac signs. Uh, and I um, tend to forget to thank those viewers who comment uh, on the videos and whatnot. Um, so I got to get better at doing that. Anyway, let's begin your uh, energies here. And we're going to start off with the Eight of Cups, okay? So the Eight of Cups is here. Now, let me just finish. The Eight of Cups is about disappointment, but it may not be your disappointment. Then we have the Six of uh, Wands. Wow, isn't that something? Eight of Wands and Six of Wands was in your weekly. We have the Ace of Swords, okay? Victory and success. Something positive, though, however, is moving towards you. Think in terms of relationships. This is a traveling card. And you know what? It's so funny, too, because in the weekly... Wasn't the Six of Wands over top of the Eight of Cups? So there could be something going on here for you guys when it comes to, uh, you know, traveling uh, plans. Maybe, well, it's still positive because this is not a, in a reverse. Usually in the reversal of the Six of Wands or the Six of Swords, I get a, a delay of action or movement. So this is still positive. Maybe the trips are uh, wherever you were planning to go. Maybe that's changed, but uh, we're going to talk about that later on. Victory and success. Speaking your truth, gaining clarity, we have temperance. That was there in your weekly. Okay, relationship card. Things coming back into balance. Then we have the Knight of Swords, taking action, making moves. Ace of Pentacles, your own energies. That's an offering. Okay, we're talking about love, so it's an offering of love. Ten of Pentacles, feeling abundant. And then Seven of Swords, someone always tries to uh, return from your past. Those X's are nuances. And... Um, King of Pentacles, more of your energies. The king was in the weekly. And then we finish off with the seven of Pentacles. And I love when the elements show up for the sign that I'm reading for. Okay, so 
Your shadow energy, however, is, ooh, however, is the Three of Swords. Okay, so Capricorn, we all know what the Three of Swords is relative to, right? So it's always that card of grief, heartache, disappointment. Whenever it shows its face, like the Nine of Swords in the Tower, it is meant for someone. Um, but, I, you know, read for a lot of people here, so I can't pinpoint exactly what the Three of Swords energy may mean for you. This is a card of divorce. This is a card of still being together in a relationship, but there's distance that separates you. Um, usually when the Nine of Swords shows up here, I always get the grief and the heartache um, and high degrees of anxiety, concerns, and worries because there, I could be just reading for some people who have connections with people who are incarcerated. I don't get the incarceration type of energy here, but that could still be the case of in terms of a separation is causing some sort of heartache for you. This is the card that represents a third party interfering in a love triangle. This could be, um, it still could be friends, even though I'm staying focused on love and romance for you. This still could be friends who are interfering with your current situation as well as family members. But whatever this three of swords may mean for you, Capricorn, it is here. Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Uh, represents the three of swords it also involves three painful decisions or choices to make uh, and you connect that energy to your relationships so let's begin with the eight of cups as i i think i started off with the eight of cups in the general weekly reading for you it's about walking away from emotional stuff so you want to enter into the month this month um capricorn and leaving whatever emotional baggage that you've dealt with in this current month because we're still in october uh and you want to leave that energy behind so it may not be having to have been disappointed or got some sort of emotional upset it's just that you may have been dealing with you know when it comes to those relationships yes there might have been some ups and downs and on an emotional level you're just trying to balance your energy out your partner and you may still be together or if you're, you know, um, still that single Capricorn out there. Maybe it was the disappointment and not meeting somebody who matches your own energy. So that could be uh, the Eight of Cups as well. But you want to walk away. You want to turn your back on that energy. Uh, walking in um, motion in the forward direction. That's always something, you know, positive. All right. So you're leaving what could have upset you or disappointed you behind, whether it was involving other people or not. And now you want to just, you know, wipe away those tears and, and hopefully walk into something more positive. And then here we go. The card that follows this is the Six of Wands. So that's what I'm trying to connect here for you for the month of November, that if there was some sort of disappointment or, you know, some emotional shit going on in the month of October, now the month of November seems to uh, bring in some, you know, very positive and bright brighter energy for you and um of course you have the temperance card so things that may have been out of balance out of sync for you now comes back into balance this is a card of rest yeah this is a card of restoration you know taking things that were imperfect and perfecting them all right and this is a relationship card um so the eight of cups here represents cancer scorpio and pisces also the six of wands represents fire Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Again, some of you may be dealing with fire signs. Um, not exclusively, but there's some sort of fire sign energy going on. All right. So uh, Six of Wands, if you are traveling uh, for vacation and, you know, it's together with your partner and you're single, it's safe passage to, safe passage from. Ace of Swords, however, is the card of victory and success, seeking new excitement adventures speaking your truth gaining clarity ready to strike with that sword uh first actions and first moves whatever those energies may be for you but this is a very powerful card to receive okay um Ace of Swords here represents air, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. So I talked briefly about the temperance card, and that's about, you know, things that were out of balance coming back into balance. It's a peaceful card. Uh, it's also involving uh, inner love, inner peace, uh, feeling harmonic, okay? Things feeling neutral and more balanced for you. Uh, it is a relationship card, so it could be that even though we don't have a favorable cup here to represent uh, in terms of unions, but I don't really need that because whenever the relationship cards show up, they speak volumes when it comes to relationships. So this is the tendency to 
um, you know, get in a uh, relationship if you are single. Uh, for those Capricorns who are already in uh, relationships, then there may be the balancing of the energies out if you've had experienced some sort of difficulties in the, um, you know, prior month or whatever, leaving, leading up to November. So it's a very peaceful card to receive. So this temperance here, again, represents fire, Sagittarius, Aries, and Leo. The Knight of Swords, um, yes, the Knight of Swords does mirror the Eight of uh, Cups. It's your decision, it's your move and your actions to walk away from things that are not worthy of you in terms of your own emotional um, stability. So you're taking an action against that. You're just wanting to take charge, make a decision. This is like the Ace of Swords having to, you know, gain some uh, clarity, get some knowledge, gain, uh, you know, information so that you can strike. Again, the Knight of Swords carries a sword as well. This is a person that charges through, makes decisions, and makes, um, you know, takes action upon what they're about to do. So maybe just, you know, a message specifically for Capricorns in the month of November to, you know, get your relationships in order, um, you know. And you're doing that, you know, with the absence of any emotional stuff trying to, any emotional stuff trying to trip you up. Because usually when the Ace of Swords, King of Swords, Queen of Swords, uh, and then we have the favor of, uh, of the Ace of Swords coming in here, that's you having to use your logic and you don't get tripped up about any decision makings that you come to uh, in terms of plans or actions um, by emotions, okay? Your emotions aren't going to trip up those plans. So I like that. So the Knight of Swords here represents... Um, you know, air, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Let's jump right down here to the Seven of Swords underneath the Ace of Swords for you, Capricorn. So this is always about somebody from your past wanting, well, they're thinking of you, number one. Okay, someone that you had an uh, attachment or, you know, arrangement with, they're thinking of you, but then, you know, things may have become or became challenging for you and the relationship in itself became difficult. There was a parting of the ways. There may be um, some little connection here uh, with the Shadow Energy, the Three of Swords. But this person here um, may reach out to you because they're thinking about you. They're still challenging, though, okay? They have not resolved their inner conflicts or the conflicts of energies that were related to you. Uh, they bring nothing new to the table or the plate, as I always mention. So you just have to be discerning whether or not you want to entertain anybody from who is floating the ideal of possibly, you know, communicating with you. And trying to reconnect with you, okay? Because it's not going to um, be any different. It's just going to be more challenging. All right, so take that with a grain of salt. That's the Seven of Swords that represents um, Air, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. And I don't think you'll have any problems here, Capricorn, because you got the favorability of the Ace of Swords, which is over top. You know, and then you have the Knight of Swords taking action. So um, let's move over here to the Ace of Pentacles. And by the way, two aces in a reading doesn't matter whether I do love or general. This is auspicious. OK, so you have the Ace of Swords and you have the Ace of Pentacles. So this is an offering. Either you're uh, offering some sort of uh, love to another person or that energy is going to be coming to you. This here is the start of something long term. Um, you're investing yourself. The person may be trying to invest in you and it's all for the, uh, you know, the benefit of stability, security, and long-term energy. So put that energy out there. If you are single, it could be the month for you to finally get that relationship that stabilizes you or the relationship that you've always wanted. It also could be for the ones who are already in established relationship that things that may have not been a little bit stable for you. Now you seem to find the energy of stability in the month of November because you have the Ace of Pentacles. You also have the Abundance card. In the um, love reading, the abundance is the absence of money, feeling healthy, wealthy, and mind, body, soul, as well as spirit. Um, your needs, your wants are being met, okay? You're being taken care of. For the singles, you can still be taking care of yourself, and you're feeling stable, you're feeling secure, and you have that energy to offer somebody else, if God willing, okay? So the Ten of Pentacles here represents your own energy, Capricorn. Taurus and Virgo, just feeling very, very healthy, wealthy, and abundant when it comes to your relationships. All right, so the King of Pentacles here is, of course, you. 
This is an actual court card. So again, it could be the love that's being offered from you to someone else, or this person comes striding in here and, you know, they may, King of Queen of Pentacles always gives me the indication that someone is doing very, very well business-wise. They could be running their own business. They could be uh, doing something very, um, you know, and, you know, in line of the career, the work that they have chosen, they, these people are good with handling money, working with money. So they could be bankers, they could be financiers, they could be, you know, working in the stock market or whatever, but they're good with all resources and they have accumulated some resources, but they're willing to share any accumulation of resources, material things uh, with the person, you know, that they, you know, cross paths with or, you know, become interested in. So... Um, but they're not overly materialistic, but this person is riding in. So I would feel that this is someone that could be a new potential connection for those singles out there specifically. Okay. Um, I'm not see, and it's underneath the relationship card, the temperance card, but I'm not going to rule out, uh, things happening in terms of romance and love when it comes to the workplace environment. Now this could be your boss. Or this could be your supervisor or your manager. And then, you know, there could be some sort of uh, interest on both parties. Or there could be some sort of office affair, love affair going on. All right. So the last one here is the Seven of Pentacles. And this is specifically for the uh, singles because this is a card of options. She's in the flower beds, many flowers to pick and choose from. Put your energy out there in the month of uh, November. If you are single, there are people to meet. Okay, so that's your energy, Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. All right, so this is what I have for you generally for the uh, month regarding love and relationships. And it's not too bad. I sort of like that energy. Don't trip off the three of uh, swords uh, too much. It is here for somebody. All right, so let's get into the lips don't lie oracle messages this should be interesting i don't think i recall reading the shadow i think i maybe chose three cards and that was it i'm not really sure but i'm gonna try to read this uh, shadow energy and not forget all right so let's see what uh your person is thinking of you their intentions of you their thoughts of you hmm This could also be for likes and crushes as well, so keep that in mind. You may or may not know the likes or crushes, but there may be their thoughts and feelings of you um, until it's revealed or, you know, more information becomes known. All right, so the first message here for you, Capricorn, is uh, distrust. This one says you cannot trust the words and promises of your person at this time. The words they speak are not true. Don't question the vibes, downloads, and information you receive in this situation. Something is not right. Well, that's a message. <laughs> Shit. Okay, so the next one is um, nonchalant. And this one says, this person acts as if they don't have a care in the world about this connection. They treat it too lackadaisical. This person disregards your feelings, wants, and needs regarding this connection and does not take things seriously. Wow. Okay. Ooh. Courting, this one here says, someone has their eyes set on you and wants to move this connection forward. Expect to be asked out on dates. Someone special wants to put in the work to get closer to you. Let them wine and dine you. Maybe you want the same. Okay, so it's a contrast of uh, energy. Shadow energy here for you is uh, Destin. This is Destin. It says, you cannot escape them and they can't escape you. The universe is conspiring to bring you into each other's lives. You were fated to cross paths. I like that one, too. All right, so this is what I have for you. Uh, oh, yeah, let me get <laughs> throw in some um, Souls Love Oracle messages just to see what uh, they want to add to this uh, energy here for you. Aren't they some beautiful cards, though? Lips don't lie. All right, so let's see. And, and actually, the messages are beautiful, too. So this one here says budding romance, okay? So we all know what a budding romance is, self-explanatory. It's about something is about to jumpstart or something's about to begin when it comes to the love department. Next one up is peace and serenity. So the peace and serenity, I will definitely connect with that of the temperance card. Peace, rest, you know, restoration uh, coming back to you, okay? So think of that in terms of your relationship. Next one up is 
love triangle. Well, the love triangle is here because of the three of swords. So there's somebody here dealing with a third party uh, situation. Now you may know or you may not know. Okay, but the love triangle is here, and that's usually what it means that someone is uh, impacting or affecting your relationship. All right, shadow energy here, because I'm only drawing three cards and then reading the shadow, is uh, friendship. This is a message here specifically for somebody. Um, yellow roses always represent friendship, but under in the uh, parentheses, though, underneath friendship, you may not be able to see it. It says nothing more. Okay, it's all just a friendship. No love, no ramp, romance. It's not going to go further than that. Okay? All right. So this is what I have for you, Capricorn. Give this video a thumbs up. I'd appreciate that. Uh, be safe in all that you do in the month of November. Happy Thanksgiving again. Be well. Um, and just remember, this is just me babbling, giving you my insights on what the cards are saying to me. And, you know, take what resonates. Leave the rest alone. Be well. Keep smiling for me. And I will talk to you real soon. Take care. Bye.